Hello everyone and welcome to the behind the scenes look of the video we made to show off the new Cinemilled Pro Ring when used with the Ready Rig device, uh, so gimbal support device, and um, our jib mode as we call it uh, on the ring. So you can see me here, I was just uh, walking around with the driver of the car uh, showing them what kind of moves I was going to do and always important to have a lot of communication on these shoots that involve vehicles. Now I will be riding a Segway, a specially prepared hands-free Segway in this video to keep up with the car. So you see me here now um, putting on the ready rig and um, you'll notice on the arm of the ready rig itself we mounted a uh, small uh, monitor, a little 5 inch uh, TV logic monitor directly to the arm of the rig and the reason why we would do this is that way no matter where those arms are the monitor is always facing me it doesn't matter what I'm doing with the ring you can see we ran uh, very thin flexible cables over to the camera now we are using the new Ronin MX of course this would work with the Movi with the big Ronin with the Ronin M or pretty much any gimbal you have we, we can adapt it to use on the ring so quick note here on the ring for the jib mode um, we're using the 30 inch side tubes and then you see there the ready rig uh, cinema ready rig spindles and what we do is we loosen the top clamp right we were using a Delrin shim right there to allow the gimbal to rotate as I perform the jib movement meaning we can sort of we're using the uh, bearings in the spindles there as a pivot point to create a jib like movement so you can go from low to high um, and so, you know, once again here, it's a good side shot. You can see we're using the Ronin stand to hold the whole thing together. And I can just pull down on each of the ready rig arms and click in to the ready rig. It helps to have an assistant to make your life a little easier, though it is possible to do some of this yourself, but it's a lot easier with an assistant, especially when uh, you're using a bigger camera that's a little heavier. So we are using a red um, dragon with a Leica R lens and a 4x5 filter on the top. So this is a quick experiment. We actually used, you see there on the end, you see those silver things protruding out the back. I was actually experimenting, experimenting with our two inch counterweights that we make for the Pro Dovetail. You can actually use screw in the counterweights to the to the end there and actually help you um, reduce the effort it takes to jib so that's a cool cool modification so you see me here um, just getting used to it and uh, testing you can see there a great use is being able to get over objects yeah as you can see there I'm way out over it could be a table in this case I'm over the end of the uh, pickup truck um, and the ready rig does a great job at stabilizing your steps but uh, anyway so here you see here my um, specially modified hands-free Segway and you can just step onto it just like so and I have full control of the Segway with my knees and just leaning back and forth important to note I have been doing this for over six years with the Segway with usually with the Steadicam um, this is the first time I was experimenting here with our pro ring in the jib mode with the ready rig support system and I have to say I was very surprised on how useful this was and um, you know you can see there I can you can literally go I'm gonna go just about one inch off the ground so you can go from scraping the ground and jib straight up right above your head and here we go um, we have a remote operator in this case. You could have a thumb controller, but uh, in this situation, we didn't have the thumb controller, so we uh, had this, uh, our assistant cameraman uh, looking at a separate monitor, and he had the Ronin controller, and so he was controlling panning and tilting. And my job was not to crash into anything, of course, and also to essentially just place the camera. So. I would be, you know, controlling the speed and the height of the camera and making sure I was getting really smooth uh, vertical motion and isolating all those bumps. The ready rig, of course, took care of all the vertical isolation in this scenario. 
And here's a cool shot. We stuck an Osmo on the back of the uh, on the back of my setup there, and you can see actually how much it was moving. There we are, cruising down the street at about 10 miles an hour. I know it looks looks a little slow, but um, it uh, does produce a good effect. So it's a cool GoPro view, and you can see there we just transitioned from a low to about a hostage tray height. So from a, a low shot to about a five foot height, really smoothly. You can see there the bumps and you can see how much the ready rig actually isolates. You know, in the past there have been other tools that allowed you to do low to high transitions, um, stabilized low to high transitions, and namely the AR Revolution, uh, which works on a Steadicam, which is a very expensive tool, very complicated, not really accessible to a lot of people. Um, this is now a great option, and you're going to see here in a second a very traditional AR Revolution type shot. I'm actually going to go down to his feet um, and follow him right here. So I'm going to be scraping the ground about an inch off the ground, getting a shot of his feet. There you go, you can see me. And then I slowly boom up and transition into a shoulder level shot, and then right after that, a little bit above his head. In case you were now wondering, how can I do what he did in the video? And so here's what you would need. Basically, first of all, well, the Segway can't help you there. Um, there's also a lot of other ways to substitute that. You could be on a golf cart. Um, you could be, although I don't recommend it, those new hoverboards, they're really unstable. But um, there's lots of other ways you can uh, replicate the actual movement part. But the most important part, which is the jib mode, which is what you're wondering about. So if you don't have any of our products, uh, it's pretty simple. First off, I really recommend you get a ready rig because um, it'll lengthen your career. It'll allow you to do things like this. It'll smoothen out your shots and the list goes on and on. But I highly recommend it. So if you have the ready rig, then what you're going to need is one of our pro rings. So what's included in the pro ring is four corners and four tubes and two hand grips. So what you're also going to need is our clamp kit. And now our clamp kit consists of the handlebar uh, clamps, the two Delrin, uh, the Delrin bushings, one Delrin bushing that's two inches long. And then you're going to need to buy any one of your uh, gimbal mounts. So you may already have our universal mount for your Ronin. Uh, if you have a Movi, um, we do also make a Movi mount now that will work with the ring. And we also will soon have a Tilta Gravity mount for the Pro Ring, as well as a Tilta Armor Man if you, if you have an Armor Man instead of the Ready Rig. We will also be coming out with that uh, very shortly. And so, assuming you have all those pieces, the only additional pieces you need is, of course, the uh, Ready Rig spindles, the, the, the spindles we make to adapt the Ready Rig to the uh, pro handlebar, the 30 inch long tube, and I like to get an extra set of grips because then I don't have to switch over from my other tubes to this one and they're only nine bucks, so it's not a big deal. So then that's all you need in order to do the jib mode. So once again, you need a ready rig or a tilt armor man coming soon. Um, you need the ring, you need the clamp kit that includes the bushing, you need a mount in order to mount your gimbal. And then optionally, you need the 30 inch long tube in order for you to do the jibbing motion. The longer tubes are useful. I have also done jib mode with the 18 inch long tube. It'll work with your 14 that comes with the kit. It's just obviously the longer 30 inch gives you more range. And so that's basically all you need. And the best part about it is that it all breaks down and fits inside of the original Ready Rig backpack within minutes, and just as fast as it, it comes together. But just to recap, if you already have our Pro Rig, if you already have a Ready Rig, and you're wondering, how do I do that jib mode I just saw in the video, then all you really need to buy is the 30 inch long tube and maybe an extra set of handlebar uh, grips. And that's it. So for very little money, if you already have the Pro Ring, um, you're good to go with with uh, with the gym mode. So as I was saying, it breaks down super easy. Just undo the kip handles 
And um, let's see here, boom, everything comes right apart. Boom. And break it all down. It all fits into the ready rig backpack. Along with the ready rig. And you're off on a plane, wherever, back into the van to the next shooting location. Um, that is probably one of it, the strongest points of this whole system is that how fast you can break it down, put it back together, reconfigure it, take the 30 inch tubes off, put the shorter tubes on, go, go with the half ring, go with the normal handlebar setup, switch from a Movi gimbal to a Ronin gimbal. You can easily switch back and forth using our two mounts. Um, really the options are endless and it's really up to you to see what you can come up with and um, you probably come up with new shooting modes that I haven't even thought of. Another quick note is I have used our counterweight mounts attached to the, the corner of the ring as a jib counterweight. So you can also, you know, there's a lot of other solutions there that actually makes your jibbing action a little bit easier. So a lot of options. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out some of our other stuff. Once again, this is all available directly on our website, including the ready rig cinnamill.com and we ship worldwide and we ship daily we do our best to get your orders out the same day you order and uh, i hope to see you on set and i'm looking forward to see what you guys can create with our products thank you see you next time